god. <laughs> we actually did it, guys. Like, we always, like, talked about it in all our past videos. And it's actually here, and it's so cute seeing all of you guys so excited with us. Being like, guys, you're so close. You're so yeah, close. Yeah, and, like, edits that you guys have made, like, throughout, like, the years. And it's like, oh, my gosh, we've been like, doing so this cute. for so long. Yeah. Remember, so. like, that video where I was like, like, that would be so cool if we had a million. But, like, today, yeah. today. Anyway, guys, uh, sorry for like our not typical intro, um, but today I'm so 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 excited because, um, like, we're doing a party. We're doing it's kind of like for a million subscribers. It's actually not, but we're going to show you guys how you can set up a gymnastics themed party. Whether you want to do it as a birthday or the Olympics are coming up, this would be so cool to like watch the Olympics and like have a party. 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 We're or going to show you basically like, just do it for any occasion. Yes. Do like, it for a sleepover. It's pretty fun, so let's get started. So the very first thing we're going to show you how to make is some DIY ribbon garland. You're going to need some twine or ribbon and also a bunch of ribbons that you've won in the past from various meets you've been to. This decor is really easy to do because all you do is just take some ribbons and literally just string it onto the twine or ribbon that you have and then eventually you're going to hang it up. This is really easy to do and I recommend if you think they're sliding too much like when you hang it up on the wall to tape them in place. And the tape did come off really easily. It doesn't ruin your ribbons or anything. So, really good idea. Next, we have a gold metal treat. So you're going to need some fruit by the foot and some golden Oreos. Then with clean hands, twist apart the Oreo. It doesn't matter if you mess up the cream. And then you're going to open up your fruit by the foot. We figure that you can use one fruit by the foot for two of the metals. So there's some reference if you need it. And basically all you're going to do is just take the fruit by the foot and put the end inside the cookie so it's sticking to the cream and then with however big of the loop you want for the metal just decide how big you want it and put the other end on the other side of the Oreo and then put the Oreo back together and then you have a really really cute trophy kind of metal not a trophy it's a metal uh, metal treat The next thing we're going to show you how to make is a gumball pit. You're going to need some gumballs and a shoebox or box of some sort. And also some kind of cardstock if you want it because we ended up covering our box with some blue cardstock. You can use scrapbook paper if you want. Basically if you want to decorate the box to make it look prettier, go ahead and do that however you want. Once the box was all covered, we decided to put some cling wrap inside of the box just to make it a little more sanitary. I know that it's just like a shoe box and the shoes in it were clean, but you never know. So we just decided to cover it and make sure it was a little bit cleaner. Then you can pour in your gumballs and if you want to be a little more fun and let people know it's a pit, we decided to print off a paper gymnast and then tape a stick to her back. And then we just stuck that in the pit as if she was using it, and I think it looks really cute. So I would recommend going the extra mile for that. Since there are most likely athletes at this party, we decided we needed to make a healthy treat for you guys. So we figured that fruit kebabs would be the perfect one to do. It's super easy. All you need are some skewers and your favorite fruit. You put the fruit on the skewers and you're literally done. And they're a nice treat to have a party because people can just walk by and grab them as they go. For some activity ideas, we recommend that you can print out a blank leotard and then you can design it later. We'll also come back to explain this later. And you can also print out a scorecard sheet as you can see on the table. We actually have one linked down below. It's the same one that we use so you guys don't have to make your own. Just click the link down below to print it. Next, all I have to do is finish decorating your party and then enjoy. So we are setting up some trophies that we already had as some more decorations. We're hanging up the ribbons that we made earlier. And then obviously we have like tablecloths, other party supplies that we're adding like balloons, anything that you want to add to make it more party themed. We also got these really cute chalkboard signs, which I just think are so cute to help label some things and make sure people know what they are. And just make it, you know, do what you have to to make it look finished. What I would do to take away this fear of being loved, allegiance to the pain. Now I miss the. Now that it's party time, we're gonna go over the activities we kind of went over earlier. 
For the design of Leotard, Maggie decided to do a puzzle theme, and she literally was having a blast with this. Even while we were recording, we were kind of like, Maggie, like, let's go, and she would not stop coloring it. So, I mean, I think Maggie gives this one a thumbs up for being fun. And this was her final design. Alright, the next activity is the mock meet, which is what the scorecards were from earlier. So we just decided to do some short routines, and if you don't have equipment, that's fine. You can just, you know, do the floor. And that doesn't mean you have to, like, use the scorecard. You can just use whatever part of the scorecard you want. If you want to, like, make your own event, you know, just, like, do what you want. Make short routines and then have people score it. And then, obviously, you can put the average on the scorecard for their final score. Even if you don't have equipment at home, you can probably do floor and beam. Floor is an obvious one, you can just do that on the ground and then you can usually make a beam with some tape or just like something to make a line basically. Also if you don't want to print out a bunch of scorecards, you can put one scorecard in a picture frame. And then if you write on it using an Expo marker, you can use it as a dry erase board. Overall, when you're making a gymnastics themed party, just make sure you're doing what you want, have activities that you think would be fun, even if we did not say them in this video. And also make sure you're being safe when you're doing, you know, events and like stuff like that. We don't want anyone getting hurt at a party. If you guys decide to try any of these things out for a party or just for a small little thing for yourself, let us know and send us pictures. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took a lot of work to set all of this up, but, it's but it was so, so worth cute. it. If you would, like literally do this. It is so Highly cool. recommend. Highly recommend. So cute. Very picture worthy. You know what else would be cool that we like thought of like midway through recording? Setting up a photo booth would have been such a cute idea. But we would obviously already had our stuff planned. So. <laughs> also, since we did hit a million and like that's a really big number, we will be doing something for that. We just like don't know what yet. If you have so, any ideas, comment below. Yeah. We um, we're going to make a separate video for that. It probably won't be on Tuesday or Friday. It'll probably It'll just be, be, just be it. whenever. Yeah. yeah. So make sure you subscribe and stay on the lookout for that. Also, since it is Friday, that means there's a new TC2 crew member of the week. So this week's TC2 crew member is... If you'd like a chance to be the next TC2 crew member of the week, all you have to do is hashtag TC2 crew member on a picture of you doing cheer or gymnastics on Instagram. Third week in a row for Maggie doing that, so shout out to her. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for subscribing. If thank you, you so have, much for, ah! if you haven't, like at all, like we don't care. Yeah, TC2 just crew. keep going. Let's keep going. Um, we also have merch available. We've had it for a while. If you want to check it out, it's the chance62.com. Link will be in the eye up there. Really comfortable. Really good quality. Recommend. And we'll see you on Tuesday. Bye. Bye.